Sonia, when the first movie came out in '96, uh, it was kind of a movie that broke the rules and kind of reinvented the mm-hmm. horror genre. And I was wondering, as an artist, did you ever feel the need to kind of break the rules as an actor, you know, in order to reinvent yourself as an artist? Yeah, I feel like, it, yeah, I mean, the film came out like <laughs> three years before I was born, um, but then I, I fell in love with it later. But I, it's actually a cool question because I feel like I do always try to step out of my comfort zone and even like when we're shooting a scene like say for the movie I try to kind of you know try different takes each time and then I feel like my technique always changes like I don't stick to just one thing so I like to like change it up a little bit and and that gives like a a a new freshness like I never want to feel like I'm I don't know stagnant and not growing I like always want to feel like I'm learning so stepping out of my comfort zone is like uncomfortable most times, hence the word, but I feel like that's like necessary to be able to continuously grow and evolve like as an artist. Absolutely, definitely. Uh, and Mikey, uh, when the young characters meet uh, Sydney for the first time, they, they, they realize very early on that she's no longer the girl that is running away from her fears. She's mm-hmm. actually looking for Ghostface so that she can kill him. And I was wondering, it comes down to you as an artist, did you ever have to overcome a specific fear in order to make sure you can move on as an artist? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, to me, the things that scare me uh, are the things that I feel like I should move towards. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, if there's a role that feels difficult or scary, I think that's an indicator that I should probably do it. I should, um, you know, throw myself into that. So um, I think that's, like, what you were saying. That's a way Mm -hmm. for me to try to grow as an artist and um, as an actor is to to um, do things that scare you otherwise. You know, there's no room for playing it safe when you're an actor. I love yeah. that. Absolutely, yes, yes. And, uh, and Sonia, um, when, when we meet, uh, when the young characters meet Dewey for the first time, uh, they are, of course, uh, reaching out because they want uh, his help in this case. Um, but he's actually, compared to the first movies, he has become a person that has kind of lost uh, optimism a little bit. Um, and I was wondering, yeah, no. I love Dewey so and much. Want, and, and, and I was wondering, you know, whenever something doesn't go, because of course his life isn't going the way he wanted or imagined. And I was wondering, whenever something in your career doesn't exactly go the way you want, how do you make sure you don't lose your sense of optimism? Mm. I think that's actually something I wrote in my resolutions for this year is, is really putting less em- you know, and putting more emphasis on the process and putting passion and love into what I do and knowing that that's what's going to give me purpose and that I can't count on the outcome of, you know, a project or whether I get this or like how the movie is received because ultimately that's out of my control and I'm just like setting myself up for, you know, like misery if I'm doing that. So I'm just like putting love and passion in what I do and enjoying the process and in that way I feel like I can be consistently... Um, I can feel like I have purpose and, and continue to love what I do um, without getting disappointed too often. But I, I do, of course, there's like moments that are inevitable, you know. I'm very sensitive, so I, I take everything personally and I get disappointed <laughs> at times, but... Yeah. Sonia, Mikey, thank you so much for sharing your stories. We've made thank it. You. No spoilers. <laughs> yeah. uh, all the best with the movie and uh, see you soon. Thank you.